Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day two of my spring cleaning juice feast and I'm still feeling pretty good. Uh, today I did have a bit of a slump in energy around lunchtime, but that's really normal for me in general. And uh, since I've taken away any kind of stimulating foods, it's really normal for my adrenals to start showing me their true level of function. So um, other than that, really no other detox symptoms today. Um, so I'm really grateful for that so far, but trust me guys, it's coming and uh, I'm going to embrace it. In yesterday's video, I had mentioned I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, using the term feast versus fast. And I really wanted to talk about the language that we use around these protocols and really just the language that we use in general. Words have power. And the language that we use can greatly affect how we manifest things in this life. And for most people, the term fast feels way too restrictive. I want this to feel expansive. I want you to be amazed by the number of options available to you. And friends, let me be real. The number of options on a juice feast are limitless and they are only limited by your imagination. You can really get creative with the juice combinations and eventually you can start to play around with the sheer power of mono fruit juicing. Uh, I've actually been doing that today uh, because we had a late night with the tool show yesterday. Um, I had pre-prepped and went to the store after work and I got two big 64 ounce bottles of freshly squeezed orange juice from a local grocery store. Tonight I will be prepping tomorrow's juices. Um, I already have some of the produce prepped from uh, two days ago and I just have to prep my sweet potato and carrots tonight for another sweet potato dream tomorrow morning. I can't wait. So uh, with that said, I wanted to um, just bring up a couple things that have come to uh, mind as I have gone through day two. And that is remembering just how fuzzy <laughs> your teeth get uh, when you're not chewing solid food. Um, really, when you're chewing solid food, it creates a slight abrasion and it helps, um, you know, actually like work junk off of your teeth. And so when you're not chewing solid food, your your um you know your cells are always turning over. Our bodies are always trying to clean and repair. And so the cells inside of our mouths will also uh create waste and uh whatnot. So as our body keeps purging this junk, um you will feel uh I feel like your teeth would feel a bit sticky if I had to describe it. Um, I always say fuzzy teeth and a fuzzy tongue, but if I really had to think about it, I would say um, your teeth feel a bit sticky. So if you can, bring an extra toothbrush to you uh, with work or carry one in your bag. Um, I'm also a really big fan of using the tongue scraper. Um, you will notice that your tongue will be shedding um, uh, waste as well, and you'll often see like a white coating on your tongue. So uh, what I typically do is I will first uh, brush my teeth and then after I rinse out my mouth, I will scrape my tongue with this a few times and, you know, rinse that off. <clears throat> and then, you know, that gives you such a nice clean mouth feel. Um, <clears throat> so I would highly recommend that if you're on any kind of, uh, you know, juicing protocol where you're not eating solid food, do be aware of the fuzzy teeth and prepare yourself. Um, and you got that. Moving on, I mentioned yesterday that I also wanted to talk about blood pressure. So um, blood pressure and blood sugar are two things that very quickly start to regulate themselves once you start to hydrate and alkalize the body. So it is a good idea. I highly recommend that you monitor these things in yourself, especially um, if you are prone to sugar metabolism issues or blood pressure issues. Um, so here I have a wrist blood pressure cuff. 
and uh, you can get the, the one that goes around your arm by all means, but personally, I really enjoy using the, the wrist blood pressure cuff. I find that it is a bit less cumbersome to use than the arm, but it simply goes on your wrist and you can, you know, take your blood pressure. Now, yesterday I had mentioned that we need to take our blood pressure on both sides. Why? Anytime we go to the doctor, they usually only test it on one side. Don't we have just one blood pressure? No, we actually have two blood pressures, one on each side. Now let's break down blood pressure and start to understand what these numbers actually tell us. When we look at a blood pressure reading, the top number or the systolic number shows us the health of our adrenal glands. Those are the glands that are producing our neurotransmitters. They also control our central nervous system, our emotions, and they tell the kidneys to filter, which brings me to the bottom number or our diastolic number for our blood pressure. That will show us our kidney function. So textbook blood pressure is actually 120 over 60. Now, many of us have grown up believing that 120 over 80 is the ideal blood pressure, but we've actually come to find out that 120 over 60 is an even more ideal blood pressure. So with that said, uh, we can start to monitor our adrenal health, which is that punch of the nervous system, and we can start to monitor our kidney health that about wraps it up for day two. I'm feeling really strong with this, guys. I'm really excited about pumping some more juice in tomorrow. I'm super grateful for this opportunity to help clean and repair my body. And this goes back to that love language that we're going to start using not only with ourselves, but with others. We want to thank our bodies for the very hard work that they're doing. All of this cleaning and repairing takes a lot of energy. So as always, with any protocol that you're on, friends, honor your body, respect it, and have some love and compassion. If your body is asking you for rest, give it rest. There's nothing wrong with that. Because truth be told, sometimes that's just what you need. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. Thanks again for joining me on day two. I hope you're staying juicy and pumping those raw fruits and vegetables. Keep it up, friends. You got this. If you would like help with your health journey, please reach out to me. Send me a message on my website at wholetalks.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.